Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Uh, be prepared for some fail, possibly, because I haven't practiced this one in a long time. I didn't practice at all. I should have practiced, but I didn't. Secrets in the Shadows and Sky. Now, unlike the last two secret, uh, the last few secret missions, this one is not marked by coins. There are no coins in the places like where the coin markers where the secrets are. Instead, you have to rely on places that are suspicious, and you have to like something with a block, like right here. There's a block. You push it in, and that's a secret. Call it a secret. Like I remembered that one. I'm, I want to say I remember the rest, but we'll just have to see. Now these things are called heave hose. They can be helpful and hurtful. I've seen people do this with wall kicks, and I want to try that. Of course, it's only for the experts. No, I, I never tried that when I was younger, and I want to do it. Okay, this time, all you gotta do is bring the heat hook close and make sure he throws you the straight thing. I always call these guys dust pans. Because that's exactly what they look like. <laughs> This one is completely useless. I've never, I don't even think I've ever actually used that one to help me. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, yeah, so I remember the first one because it was obvious. I remember this one. All you have to do is hit it. You don't actually have to jump in the spot where it was. That would be a little bad. Uh, we haven't gone here yet. And yes, there's a star there. We'll talk about that later. Another one of those cage stars I couldn't figure out how to get. And another funny star name, but not as funny as Shocking Arrow Lips. Nothing is as funny as Shocking Arrow Lips. I don't even know why I went up here. Okay, wait a minute. So we got three. Those three I wasn't worried about. Oh, here we go. Um, here's a block right here, which is... Um, I don't know why you have to be pushing the block, but... I think you do. I thought you pushed the block like all the way over here and then there's your secret. Right? I'm thinking of something else. I'm sure of it. But where are these? This is bad. I don't remember. Call the police because I do not remember where these other secrets are. Oh, I don't know. It's in that block right there, genius. But as far as the last one, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, I remember that it had something to do with this block, but the last one, I do not know. Wait a minute, yeah, I think I do, actually. I'm gonna try something and see if that works, and then if that doesn't work. Wait, is that not it? Did I not go high enough, maybe? I don't know. I just specified how you didn't have to do that. So that's not it, so now that's two, I don't know where they are. I'm doing this blind. If I really don't like it, I'll scrap it, but for now, I'm just, like, making fun of my inability. I, I'm, I remember actually getting this one without too much trouble, but now that I'm recording, I'm not doing that, so... I remember the three obvious ones. That's what it, why am I going up here again, and of course, I'm like, I was about to get on the first try, but of course I didn't. Oh wait, no, I remember, okay, 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 I just remember where another one was, I just remember where number four was, hold your horses, I just remembered where one is, it's over here, yes, oh, isn't, aren't these both secrets, you push this for a secret, and then don't you hit that block for a secret, please stand right, yes, alright, not too much trouble here, This is your, right now the water, I'll, I'll just call these like levels, this is level 1, this is actually level 3, there's a level where you like get it swimming, but not high enough to go anywhere, so that's level 2, see right there, that's pretty useless, level 4 is that up there, level 5 is the one that we, uh, it's at the very top, and then level 6 is one that you can't get by just hitting. You have to jump into the painting, like, at the very top, and then it actually goes higher than level 5. But that is only helpful for going in there. 
And that's not even the way you're supposed to go in there. In fact, I'm gonna show you the way you're supposed to. I don't even know if I should do that now, but... Nah, I shouldn't, because the star's right here, but... I'll do that in the next star. Because I want to do this. That wasn't so bad. I think you have to get the water high. Because I do want to... Yeah, express elevator, hurry up. We'll get into the star later. Yeah, we got it at the very highest, which is actually higher than that. Now, the way you're supposed to get in the cage, which we're not doing right now for this star, the way you're supposed to do it is to go right here... Get it at the very highest, and then get the bob on buddy. It's right here to open the cannon, which is right there. And it will shoot you into the thing. But I never knew about this. And the thing is, if you have to get high this high anyway, what's the point? Um, we might as well use the cannon though. Not to shoot ourselves all the way over there. And there is a, a glitch you can do here, similar to in Shifting Sandlin, but I haven't really figured out how to do it here. We'll shoot ourselves. Huh. Yeah, that's actually, like, kind of telling you where you need to go, I think, to get all the way over there, but... Yeah. For this star, you actually want, not even want, you need, you need the water bubble to be low when you do this, because, well... You need to be able to, you need to break this box, first of all. I don't even think it works if the water's on high. I'm going to try to use wall kicks to get up here, and not the heave hose, but... Yeah, that, this one should be easy, even though there is a fence there. But yeah, it's easy. And this one, I think you do need to triple jump. Hey, how about that? Why must there be so many amps? Okay, okay. So what you have to do is not that, but you know, do not fall off. If you fall off, I'll kill you, even though it's impossible to do that. So yeah, we're getting on top of this cage again. Remember, last time we found a secret here, but there was, more, there was also a caged star here, and, well, there's no vanish cap, so how are we going to get in there? There actually is a vanish cap, but it's not here. <laughs> okay. Well, what you have to do is you have to stand on this elevator. And then... Do this. I, I always had trouble as a kid, not only because I didn't know how to do it, but... I wasn't very good at wall kicks, I was trying to backflip and... Oh. And there's your easy star. It's not that easy. The heat, I remember the heave hose killing me, of course. So next up is 100 coins. I say no, it's not. I'm gonna get star 6 before I get star 5 and the 100 coins. Because I do not feel like doing that right now. Hundred coins aren't that bad though, but well I'm already here. We're getting star number six. Six and up. Uh, I'm gonna introduce you to what is known as the town. Because yes, it's actually a town. There's houses. They're all uninhabited, it's all deserted, but there are houses, you can't go inside them, but still it's the closest thing to a town in this game. I heard there was some kind of glitch you could do in this tunnel, but I don't like to get back to the thing. I don't know exactly what it is. Yeah, and you got two water level things here. You got a level one and a level two, and this is level two. You use a metal cap to sink yourself, even though there's really not much point of that since you can just swim, but... There's got to be some kind of point to the metal cap that I'm forgetting. Can you break boxes with it? Yeah, it's, it's stupid. Just like you can't break the boxes when you're on the Koopa shows. No, I like you walking. Well, you don't drown, but you don't lose air when you're metal, so that's good. 
You take fall damage, but you don't lose air. Yeah, so for some reason, I really never considered these houses, because no one's living in them, but... Like, if you don't call this a house, then I don't know what you would call a house. I forget what the point of that was. Boxes there? Okay. So yeah, we see we've got red coins here, so they're somewhat scattered. I mean, they're scattered around this area, but... Well, the thing is, they're... This is, like... Like, one-fifth of the level. So what we have to do is find the Vanish Cap. So where is the Vanish Cap? It's over here. The name of this star is called Quick Race Through Downtown. They really must be high for the star names. I mean, they're good, but like... So you can actually run through this thing, this little brick wall here. Doesn't make any sense why you would be able to do that, but you can, and then you go here. As long as you're good at wall kicks, And this is star number six. Not too bad. We got time left, uh. Suppose we could go for the hundred coins. So I think that we're gonna want at least 60 before we go into town. There's 151 in this level, there's more than enough. If you're gonna kill these skaters, it's best to do it in the in the down low. We've got three coins in each of these boxes, so... But, uh, the water level, of course, um... I'll try to do as much of it out of water as possible, but... There is a water level, so... There's swimming involved. Well, so far, it's not going so bad. We're getting the easy coins, though. Here's our blue coin switch right here, yes. Oh no, do not miss. Good. We get all six. There's some coin boxes, so... What are we missing here with how hard this is? We got 42. I think this will give us 52. Unless it's just 3, but I think it's 10. Yeah, it is 10. It's 52. Um. Okay. We got half the coins in like a minute. That's, that's great. I'll take that. The A-Red coins aren't hard. They're just kind of annoying because you have to... You can't see any of them. You have to break boxes for every one. And no, it's not happening. We're not dying here. I triple jump. I'll triple jump this. Or not. We'll just use the heat. Oh! Oh, I actually thought I wasn't going to make it. And I, I forgot actually about this. There's a eight red coin ring around here. We got it. Well, this is easy. What I say this was hard for? I don't know why I have this illusion that the 100 coins are so hard in this world. Maybe I did have trouble with them before. I don't know how, but these are, this is easy. What am I missing here? Wait a minute. Can you not get in there? Like, no, you have to be able to get in there with the, even with the water at this height. I mean, you're not going to be able to get in the cage, but you must be able to get in the cannon. Or you could always do that. I've never actually tried that, so I'm going to raise the water and all, but... Yeah. I think you have to, like, do the butt slide, so forget it. Oh, well, you needed to talk to the bob on buddy, but you, with this high, you're fine to get in the cannon. Yeah. You might even be able to, yeah, you can talk to the bob on buddy from here. You just have to triple jump. I'm fine. We good. However, there is still the matter of how many tries will it take me to make this jump. You could get that star from here. You could just, even if it's flooding the land, you can still get it with the butt stomp. So that's the easy way. Or the easy way is what the experts do, and just wall kick their way. Or just do something in long jump, something else. Not even close. You actually thought that was close. You know, I, didn't, I don't even think you go in there. I think that's actually a mistake I made once. Like, you know, that's just something completely different. Hmm. Mm -hmm. While I was in there, I might as well just have gotten the one off. But I didn't. 
see if we can do it this time. I'm not exiting the level. I got 85 points. I could actually probably get 100 from, like, not even exiting the level. There's a box over there. You can't see it because of the draw distance, but there's a box over there, and then there's the Chucky up there. That's 100, right? And even if that doesn't have 10, there's a box over there on the platform. It, I was about to say draw distance, but actually it's underwater. <laughs> Please be it, please be it, please be it. Oh, yeah. It's not as hard as it looks. <sighs> Look how it took me to until I actually got it to realize that, but hey, this, rec this 100 coin slash rec coin mission's going well. Just don't die. Okay. Now, you probably saw one red coin that was in the thing that I call the doghouse. Um, because that's what it looks like. I call things by what they look like. I call the heave ho a dustpan. I call the metal cap a cucumber box. No, I don't. But if you get that reference, then you're awesome. Um, yeah, this must be the firehouse. They got the pole, the doghouse, you know. Firemen have dogs, so... Too bad you can't, like, punch when you're underwater, even in metal mode. Metal mode. Yeah, and, wow, we can actually get 100 coins without even getting the average coins. Um, but... Where is the thing? It's in a garden, I remember that. It's not, it's not with the vanish cap. It's... Because there's a metal and vanish cap, it's actually possible to be double. I, don't, I still don't even know what the point of the metal cap is in here. Yeah, maybe it, it would help to like swim to the top of one of these houses as you do it. Shoot. Yeah, I still forget what the point of that is. Huh. I mean, weren't these here before? And if they weren't, then wouldn't it just be easier to get it? Come on, how come diving doesn't work? Yeah, there's a red coin there, right? Alright, they gave it to us by getting just half. No, that was our 100 coin, and 3 is not half of 8. I don't know where I took math, but... No, I was just... guesstimating. And I thought it was 4, actually. That's what it was. Yeah, if you're going for 100%, be careful of, the, of that. Is that a fish? I just saw a fish come out of nowhere. Fish don't live in flooded towns. But... They do when it comes to video games. Yeah. This is actually one of the more wall kick heavy levels, so... But when I was a kid, I couldn't find this place. I mean, I knew where it was. I mean, I knew... Like, first of all, I didn't even know what was here, right? When it said eight red coins in the town, I mean, I looked all around Wet Dry World and I couldn't find the eight red coins, but... Like, not even one, and I didn't really think something was wrong. I just kept looking around the big world and hoping that I'd find one. But it didn't happen. That was five or six. That was six. Yeah, there's actually a lot of coins in here. Like I said, we could have come here with 60 and been fine. No, that's not going to make it. Get the line here. Uh, yeah, there's up there. Maybe that's what you use the box for, just to get up there. Um, I've always done it with wall kicks. Of course, I think the last time I've actually done this was Mario 64 DS, when the wall kicks were a lot easier in that game. I really don't get why people wouldn't like Mario 64 DS over the original, because I do. I mean. I like this game because I grew up with it, but I don't get why people, aside from, that doesn't break it, aside from nostalgia, why wouldn't you not like D the DS version more than this? I mean, it's better. It's, there's really nothing more to it than that. Yeah, some of the glitches, some of the fun glitches are gone, but, yeah, I don't get it, but. 
So yeah, we got eight red coins, and we saw that the star marker was in the doghouse. Yeah. I mean, it's probably not, it's probably a garage, but I call it the doghouse still. So it did actually take to 20 minutes, but I didn't feel so. If I was playing badly, who knows how long that would have taken? 118 coins. Woo. Is that our high yet? Let's let's check it out. I know I got a lot in Lethal Lava Land. Yeah, 112, that was our high. So we're done with World 11 Wet Dry World. On to the next one in the next episode.